extra. Read all about it. Planned Parenthood says safe is sexy. Now that's what I'm talking about. Every day you and I are faced with about a million different opportunities to make a choice. Like I choose to eat organic vegetables, or I choose to stop at a red light, or I choose to root for the giants and not those bush leaguers from Los Angeles. What I'm saying is, we all need to take care of ourselves, protect ourselves, and gather our own information. Do you hear that? That sounds like the theme song from the streets of San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Michael Douglas was really great in that show. And Carl Malden. But I digress. That's my cue. So as I was saying, kids, the only way to prevent pregnancy is to practice abstinence. But mister, we learned at school that there are other ways to practice safe sex and protect ourselves. Oh yeah? Like what? Well, there's lots of different contraceptive devices. You got your condoms, you got your birth control pills. Oh, those are instruments from the devil's toolbox. If you're so smart, Miss Smarty Smart Pants, what are you going to do about STDs? You do know what STDs are, don't ya? Sure, but I don't plan on getting a sexually transmitted disease. Nobody does. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you're doing here? Uh, well, I'm just telling these kids the truth. The only truth here is that you're ugly and your mom addresses you funny. <laughs> it looks like it's time to take out the trash. Now you kids know where to go for all your health care needs and reproductive advice, don't you? We sure do, ma'am. Planned Parenthood, Golden Gate. Because, because we, we have, have a choice. choice. That's good. But call me Dionysus. And here's a little something to remember me by. Gee, thanks Dionysus. Be good. I've gotta go. I smell trouble with a capital T. Remember, safe is sexy. These folks here are known as anti-choice demonstrators. Under the First Amendment of our Constitution, they're allowed to express their beliefs, if done so peaceably, and in accordance with the laws. Yet they can sometimes become unruly, and sometimes they get a little too close. But mostly, I wish that they would just disappear. Hey, that gives me an idea. That's more like it. Open for business. Now everyone that needs low cost and confidential health care may enter freely without intimidation or violence and acquire information about reproductive issues and obtain professional health services that each of us deserve, be they women, men, or teens. Well, it looks like my work here is finished. I wonder what's cooking in our nation's capital. And I'm off. If it isn't the senator, what do you make it for supper? It's an old family recipe. I call it, I can do whatever I want to do stew. You see, I come from a long line of grandiose narcissists where quite simply, the laws of these United States do not apply. Now, senator, you know that no one is above the law. I am. Are not. Am too. Are not. Am too, am too, am too. Bam, let's kick it up a notch. I don't think so, Senator. And now for a few special ingredients of my own. Now, how does that feel, Senator? Great! I feel cleansed. I no longer have the stench of misinformed conservatism. I, I want all women everywhere to have the ability to choose what they do with their bodies. That's more like it. And besides, money spent now for the funding of family planning will save billions of dollars in future social expenditures. Don't say. Extra, extra, read all about it. Planned Parenthood wins again. 
Well, my work in this political kitchen seems to be over. Let's have a look at what's happening in the birthplace of humanity. That was a long flight. I was riding on bio vapors, but the trip was worth it. Hey, Doc, how's tricks? No tricks here, just facts. As you know, Planned Parenthood Golden Gate is training and financially supporting local reproductive health agents here in Ethiopia. We're trying to reduce unintended pregnancies and sexually transmitted diseases like HIV and AIDS. I sure did. I've been following your case closely, and the prognosis looks good, Doc. What else do you know? I know that all women in every corner of this world should be empowered with the decision to have children for the right reasons. I want to reduce the number of unintended pregnancies so that every child born is wanted and loved. Like this little one. Gucci, Gucci, goo! Ooh, little baby. You're preaching to the choir, Doc. And speaking of the choir, that reminds me. I have an appointment with the Reverend Jerry Falwell, that schmuck. <laughs> but first, I'll need to refuel. Hey, do you think I could borrow some coffee? Of course, help yourself. This stuff grows on trees around here. Whoa! <laughs> now that's what I call a real pick-me-up. <laughs> Now I hope you've all learned a little something today. Planned Parenthood welcomes everyone, regardless of race, creed, gender, religion, sexual orientation, age, or income. After all, we've been around for 89 years. We must be doing something right. Come visit or support a Planned Parenthood near you. You don't say. No tricks here. Wanted Just and not the empowered power. Extra, extra, read all about it. <laughs> 